I grew up in Accra and there hasn't been any electronic music singing. I didn't even grow up knowing electronic music in Accra. So I decided to take the responsibilities to create a scene and to inspire people to the genre of electronic music. With my music, it's basically contemporary electronic music mixed with traditional beats. I don't really have a specific place that I play. I'm not a resident DJ for anybody, which I don't want to. I don't want to be a resident for any club, any pub. Sometimes I do surprise pop-ups, like I go to townships and I set up and I smash to inspire the people in the neighborhood, for them to hear the new sound, to discover. Basically, I want to be around people with good energy, good vibes. This is my look every day. I don't change for anything else. This is how I show up everywhere. There are other artists who have like two different lifestyles. Like they have their artist life and they have like behind the scenes lifestyle. Mine is not like that. I live as an artist. I live as my craft. I live as my art. When it comes to inspiration, I like to tap into things that people don't really give attention to, things that people don't really care about because inspiration is always around us. The moment you step out from your house or in the compound you live, on the compound you live, there's so much inspiration, like little beauties that people don't pay attention to. People don't pay attention to. What I do is I pay attention to these little beauties, these little things, the everyday lifestyle of the people of Accra on the streets, cutting out things that I see on the internet and things I see on TV. So it's basically real life experiences. Being a creative, in general in Accra is very difficult. Creatives are not being respected for who they are because we don't do a nine to five, getting into that office and coming out. So they think they are just jokes. So being a creative artist in Accra is very tough. For instance, for my career as a DJ, in most homes or in the country itself, being a DJ is not a big deal because we don't have DJs that we, we look up to. Because parents think, okay, People making music, people doing DJing are people who are aimless and that wouldn't get you anywhere. You can't make a career out of it and you can't take care of family, etc. With me, I decided to take the responsibility and erase that stereotype of people thinking about DJs. So I put in a lot of work um, to build my brand, package myself properly and let my work live beyond my expectations to prove those who think you can't be a DJ as an or you can't take DJ seriously as a profession in this city that we live in. I'm trying to change that and let them know yes you can be a DJ and live a life or make a living out of it.